Hello there, I'm Aldrahill, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. Whilst my peeps were, uh, you know, sweetly sleeping, you know, kindly and happily resting, something has occurred. It's finally happened. We didn't wall it off properly, and this is what's happened. They've spawned in our castle because it touches the borders. It was only a matter of time. One spawned in the castle, two spawned in one of the craftsmen's huts, and two more spawned here, and there's another warrior over there. So we've tasked our fighting our fighting men to take care of them. Our two premier infantry. There we go, everyone go to bed. Go to bloody bed. Don't eat. Jesus, eat enough. That's right. Get him. Excellent. We must kill them as quickly as possible. We don't want any risk of us, our peaceful, happy settlers being hurt. Our front line can take it. Get him! Ooh, didn't kill him still. There we go. I believe in you, lads. You can do it. It's going pretty well. Going pretty decently. Let's turn off designations for now. Ooh, all right. Oh, it's already, it's already done. Oh, boy. They've penetrated the castle, man. Oh my god. They're breaching. Oh, he's so strong. Oh, okay. Thankfully. You know what? No, just get rid of these good guys. Thankfully, they were weak. They were too busy and too intent on killing uh, the poor innocent people of Aldrahilia. So they did not notice the two beautiful, wonderful warriors slaying them wherever they go. Oh. It is done. Now it's quite dark and I basically can't see anything. This is a problem. It's also quite dark in my room when I'm recording this. Yeah, get wrecked! Whew! Alright, that should be the last of them. That's, so there's five of them. Five skeletons. Oh, there's the sixth. Alright, that's six skeletons. That's quite a lot. They do only spawn on one like, edge of the map at a time, so we're okay. Six skeletons. God, who knows what it's going to be like in future nights. It's going to be bloody armies of them. Why are you still awake? He's gathering food, I guess. But you know what? Go to bed. Sleep with the rest of them. I'm going to train you to be... Oh, I'm not going to train you to be anything. You're just going to be a fisherman. You're going to sit there and be a fisherman. You're going to like it because you're disloyal. Bloody disloyal troop. Yank that speed up. Whew. Last one. Get him. Good job, lads. Whew. Alright. You go back to being a miner. How many miners do we have? Plenty. Well, not enough. That's the good stuff. And you go back to being... Hmm. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Maybe just go be a fisherman. Go be a fisherman. 
And you're gonna be a fisherman as well. Whew. That could have been dangerous. And in retrospect, we'll actually send you back to sleep. There we are, I'll go back to bed. And everything's alright. Alright, and back to building our little beds. Trying to decide. Uh, oh, I love the music. You know, what kind of. Oh, no, no, we don't want that. I think that looks nicest. That gives us eight, and it'll give us sixteen thingerinos. Hang on, how many space do we have? We have two spaces to allow them to adequately. Well, that's one space, isn't it? <laughs> there we are. One, two. Two. Uh, I can't see anything. There we go. One, two, and... One, two. And what we shall do is we shall have some walls... And I think the exterior is going to be made of castle brick, but perhaps what we could use it, we could use timbered brick. Like the internals here. I think that would look nicest. So if we have little walls here. There we go. What's just that? That's eight. That's nine. There we are. And we could put some lovely dressers. Furniture dresser. Well, that looks quite nice. This way there'll always be space for people to sleep. In fact, let's get rid of these ones. And that gives us 14 sleeping spots. That's nice. And we'll have a little door. It'll be a braced door. No. A dungeon door. No. Stud door. They're all three. This is the problem. This is the problem, is that uh, they're all three, but I made this symmetrical, I think. Yeah, I made it 22. Oh, no, it's 22. That's, there's a point. That's fine. 9, 10. So, 10. There we are. Beautiful. So, let me do a little door. I guess we could have it as a studded door. The last defense. There we are. And everyone can sleep here. And furniture wise, I don't know. I, I like the idea of some dresses, you know. Decor a decorative, yes. But I think it's important. And the lovely fireplace in the middle. Oh, that's nice. That'd be very nice. Alright, and let's make sure the flooring. Yeah, what do we got? Timbered floor. Because we actually haven't done this correctly. For some god awful reason. There we are. Uh, and once that's done, we'll put the wall in to finish that off. Hey, everyone's awake. Back to work, lads. Very nice. Turn back designations on. So that will give us a nice amount of beds. Actually, it's a bit of an experiment. Let's just have a look at this. What if we got rid of all those? Because we can still see where they are. What if we did this instead? Do we, can we fit more? Mm, it can't really fit more, but it gives us more space. 
That would only give them one dresser each, though. Well, I guess all right. One dresser each. So if we did that, I think we could fit some more in there. I can't see anything as the angles. There we are. Gives everyone plenty of space. And we could fit another bed in. At least there. So a huge area for sleep. Ah, but where did the dressers go? One goes, we have, we have four there. But then where do they go here? Ah, you're there. That'd be nice. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. Well, to be honest, do we really need more than 16 right now? And that just gives us more room. So these 16 beds for general usage. I think that's quite nice. I hope you guys appreciate you know, being a part of my decision making here. Gives everyone one little space. In fact, that does actually give them two space of two. But that's all right. So everyone has space to go to bed. There we are. 16 beds and a lovely fireplace at the back with some dressing tables. Yeah, that look really nice. That look really nice. I think it's time we remove this farm. That's right. Removing it all. It's done it's it's done well for us, but now it's time. Oh god, I did it in really weird patterns, didn't I? Look how weird I did it in patterns. Every single time you do like one design, that's its own farm. Christ. Oh lord. There we are. Done. And now we should do the thing again where we check absolutely everything because I do not want to get attacked again. Not while everyone's uh, preparing and migrating. Be absolutely terrible if that happens. Well, in the meantime, it looks like everything's okay. What's that? That's a spider we've never been able to get rid of. All right. So, fishermen are fishering. Food is low, which isn't so great. How much cloth do we have? 45, and they require 12. Holy crap, we need more cloth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Make ten more of that. How much cotton do they need? They need twenty cotton. And we have six plus eight, fourteen. So it's two hundred and eighty cotton as well. So we don't actually have enough cotton either. Oh Jesus. Come on, guys. Oh, hey, they're done with mining. they got nothing else to mine. Oh, my. Well, we get rid of that tile. Then we can just build more dirt there. Yeah, I guess you are actually done with mining then, aren't you? 
Then back underground you go. Expand the tunnels. And since we're reduced, we can get rid of some of our miners. This level 4 miner can go and be a builder. Where are our other miners? We've got Glenda, who is also a builder. Okay, we'll keep Glenda. We have Auric, our main miner. So there's just two miners now. Okay, that's fine. We've got plenty of builders. Actually, I think we only have two builders. Do we just Aubrey and Tristan Kroll? We also have Eleanor. That's fine. That's all right. I guess this will be the hall, but we need a, we need a storage location. That's what we need. We need a place to store our goods. This is the sleeping area. So I guess upstairs will be the storage area. But in the meantime, I think we can put we can have our storage here. Just kind of sit in here, you know. We don't need a huge amount like wheat and wood. Well, they'll run out of wood soon enough. What else? What else? What else? Well, once we start moving our workshops over, that's when we'll uh, have it ready. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Keep up that production. Taylor is tailoring. So what's the production like? Okay, yeah, see, like this. They're getting mostly seeds, it seems. Harvesting corn. Let's see what they get. Five corn seeds, 17 food. So they do actually get a fair amount of food. So our food is stable again. Wonderful. Alright. And we'll build 10 leather. Just making sure we have all the ingredients we need. Oh, we're out of strong ingots. That's not good. Well, we don't really need to make any because we got the we got enough weaponry. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where is that builder going? Where is he off to? <laughs> what is he going? I really don't want there to be a... What is this, a gap? Hang on. Yeah, it's a bloody gap. Where is he off? Where does he get off? Oof. I need a bit more, I'm afraid. Flooring. There's this tempered floor. There we are. Jesus. Honestly. Oh, the beds look so nice. Oh, I feel like they would have been better looking the other way, but who cares? We're here. Oh, I think they would have been better looking the other way, but we're fine. There'll be a lovely fireplace here once everyone's done. Maybe... They can't spawn if it's right against the wall, can they? No, if you block it off, they can't spawn. I don't think so. That's alright. Alright. Look at all this farming. And the fishermen are fishing. 
Yeah, Kurt's basically just a fisherman because he's disloyal. Alison Wood is also disloyal. Ugh. Now, basically, every single new migrant we get who is not disloyal or a bad shot or whatever will now become a soldier in the great army of Aldrahilia. We just have to wait for them to come. That's all we need. We need them to arrive. Surprisingly, our wheat is going quite well. Let the builders go. There we are. Look at this. Our four farmers. It's strange that only four farmers is enough to actually keep it going. Carpenter must, carpenter must be really high level. Level 20. He's the max rank. Alright. Good job, man. Good job. Alright. More bricks are being made. Look, look, look how quickly we blow through bricks. That's insane. We have tons of dirt and stone. We actually do need some more uh, stone, so that's good. There we are. Expand these mines a bit. Oh, my camera was weird. Oh, imagine. That's good news. Right, I think we'll continue this next episode straight away. So, I was Aldrin, and I'll continue to be, and this has been Timmer and Stone. We fought off against a horrible invader. Oh, cool, he carries a little sword. That's nice. Uh, and loads of skeletons, and we're pretty much on the way to being done with our migration. Now all we need to do is begin the, uh, the planning of moving over the workshops, and we're done. So, yeah, see you next time.